In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to beat Cover 2 in Madden 23. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I just wanna welcome you here to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, just wanna let you know that I post videos that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better, hit the subscribe button. Also, we're in our Madden 23 training camp series. I do this every July, kind of preparing for the next Madden. And I just wanted to give you a simple concept that I really personally like from any formation, but specifically trips tight end, to be able to consistently beat the cover two defense. I think that cover two is gonna be one of the best defenses in Madden 23, and so you need to have the skills and the routes to be able to attack it. Now, in this video, I'm going to actually go ahead and set the cover four drop as an audible so that I can just come out in the cover two uh, defense. And there's really a couple of key ways, in my opinion, that you want to attack cover two. And if you look at the coverage, we're gonna actually be utilizing the play PA slot corner out of the trips tied in in the New England Patriots playbook. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, this is going to be my favorite offense, I believe, already in Madden 23, at least to start the year. We're actually going to be updating our trips tied in offensive ebook for Madden 23. So if you join our Patreon, you can get access to our Madden 23 trips tied in offensive ebook. It's with the setups that I was using in the beta. What's cool about that is you can apply most of it to Madden 22. That way in Madden 23, you're already a step ahead of the competition. So if you want to check that out, that link is in the description below. So with the cover two, there's really two primary weaknesses of this coverage. The first one is we only have one defender on the sideline and he's in a cloud flat. Now a cloud flat is probably the deepest zone of all of the underneath zones to be able to defend things like deep crossers and deep corners. They also have this deep half defender who is breaking from the inside to the outside. And so if you think about it, I'm just gonna use this blitzing defender to kind of show a couple of the holes. The first hole is this right here. So if I, the deep sideline on either side to me is one of the biggest holes because if I can get that cloud flat to suck underneath, then that deep outside area could be wide open. Another one of the vulnerabilities of this coverage, this is one of the things that you will see a lot of really good cover two players do, is they'll put this defender in the deep middle of the field. What this means now is now the deep middle is covered. However, if they're not putting them in the middle of the field, you see that the deep middle of the field is open. So really the two sidelines um, outside of the safeties are open, the deep middle of the field is open, and we can actually kind of attack these vert hooks because the vert hook is essentially going to play in the seams is really where it's going to play. Kind of that area um, from the hash mark to the numbers is really the primary area that a vert hook will defend. And so if we can attack the defense in this kind of underneath area as well, that could be another potential really good play. But honestly, the best place to attack cover two is on the sidelines and really try to manipulate cloud flats. And it's, in my opinion, one of the most important things you're gonna to need to know for Madden 23. So we chose a route combination here that has a corner route. That's one of the most important routes in the game whenever we're talking about beating a zone coverage. And so the setup is really simple. Uh, we're going to streak Randall Cobb. And we have a couple of options from here. If we remember, I said that I think it's really important to attack the middle of the field underneath against a cover two. And then also to try to manipulate a cloud flat. We're going to get kind of a two for one with this. Um, but really, you could just call this play right here. This would be fine. Um, another thing that you could do, though, is high low those yellow zones in the middle of the field by putting your tight end on a curl. And what you'll see with this is this cloud flat will suck inside due to the drag. And it will leave this corner route over the top open for easy manipulation. Let me go in instant replay and I'll show you kind of what's going on here. So what you'll see here is that this cloud flat will suck. See how he kind of comes inside a little bit. And there's no, it's also why it's really important with a cloud flat. Let's say that I put Devontae Adams on a streak. The cloud flat would then bail back into this area of the field. But what we did was we put him on an underneath route. So this cloud flat is kind of coming in here looking for work, if you will. And there's nothing breaking to the outside. So he's kind of passing this off to the deep half defender not thinking about this corner route that is coming in behind him, kind of essentially like a smash concept, if you will. Now on the right side of the field, we put our tight end on a curl. I just wanna show you why this is so good. You see how these yellow zones are being pulled back due to the fact that we have this tight end on a curl and it leaves this drag underneath as well for a really good check down. 
let me give you a couple of advanced tips for this, especially if you're playing a good Madden player, somebody that really knows what they're doing. Let's say that they're going to send a cover two blitz at you. And essentially what this could look like is basically this. We're going to blitz both of our slot corners. And then we're going to have these two yellow zones right here. And then on the outside, we're going to have soft swats. This is the number one blitz meta that I think you will see in Madden 23. So you have to understand that one of these yellow zones is probably going to be their user defender. And traditionally, it's going to be the one to the weak side of the field so that they can get more coverage on this trip side. So what we're going to do is we have a really good pass protection system just with the blocked running back out of play action. I like to ID the mic. Um, when I say ID the mic, ID the blitzing corner opposite of the running back. I think that that significantly helps with pass protection. And then what we want to do is essentially the same route combination. But this time, you're going to notice that the soft squat is going to kind of underneath, undercut this route to square and it creates this kind of interesting dynamic but basically you see that this is open right there okay so your corner route is still open now another thing that is open and let's just kind of again just an abbreviated version of what i think the meta will be in madden 22 to illustrate this now we're going to put this guy in a hard flat to try to illustrate this a little bit better you know say they're kind of coming underneath trying to really take away the snap the snap reads and again, they're going to use her right in here. Well, this is probably one of the more difficult, I think, coverages to beat quick. But later in the play, of course, your corner route will be open. But another thing that will be open is your drag right in that area once he passes that underneath curl. Now, let's say that your, um, let's say that your opponent says, you know what, I'm going to start taking away the curl with my user and I'm going to kind of try to focus on taking away the curl and then working back to the drag. So just to illustrate this, we're going to use this right here. This is where this play kind of comes back full circle. And just by leaving this tight end on his corner, he's still going to pull those yellows, but now he's going to work this hole outside of the field and the deep half safety because he's coming from inside to the outside is going to have trouble stopping that route combo. So this right here is one of my favorite route combinations in Madden 23. It truly attacks the entire field. Um, another thing you can do off of this is you can, if you wanted to run like a motion snap drag or something, um, kind of help with some match principles that they might be utilizing. This could be a really good way to do that using this drag. And again, you're getting that kind of underneath drag concept on both sides of the field now. You could hit the beauty, the beauty of drags, especially in Madden 23, is because it's going to be such a cover two heavy meta, drags are really going to be important because the drag is going to create a lot of high-low concepts over the middle of the field, like right in that little pocket, where you're going to be able to manipulate the yellow zones. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get my full Trips Tied In offensive ebook, be sure to hit the link in the description to go join our Patreon. It's also going to get you access to our updated ebook in Madden 23 and the additional all 30 of our uh, strategy guides that we've released over the course of the Madden 22 season, and, of course, everything that we'll release in Madden 23 as long as your membership is active.